Hi everybody, Andrew from Andrew's Answers, Home Buyers University, part 15. Well, I guess it's part 15, maybe it's segment 15 or unit 15, I forget what I've been calling them. You've done everything. You've uh, done your shopping, you've done your negotiating, your home inspection, you've hired your lawyer, you're, you've got your insurance, and now the wait. And of course, if you're anything like most people, you start to get pretty excited. Now, there's only a couple of things here that you need to be aware of. Number one, don't go out and buy other big ticket items because that can actually affect your financing depending on where you purchased in relation to what you were qualified to spend. I've actually seen this happen a number of times over the years. And it's not that people uh, did anything underhanded or, or you know, went out and spent money they don't have. It's just they really didn't know. They thought, hey, I went and got pre-approved. I made my purchase. The approval has been done. Uh, the, everybody's processing that now and I can go lease a car or buy a house full of furniture, or uh, co-sign a loan for somebody, who knows what, there's any make and manner of things that you can do that can actually end up jeopardizing your financing. Just shortly before your closing, uh, there's what's called a sub-search done to make sure that there's no additional registered debt with your name on it. And if you go and do these things, well then that can actually jeopardize the financing that was confirmed for you and your lender does have the right to rescind it. There you go, good to know. But some of the other things that you can do is you can use some of that excitement to go do some of your planning for, you know, window coverings or colors or flooring or, you know, any make and manner of things you do. But essentially, the time in between you have done your negotiating, your home inspection, you know, you hired your lawyer, they're doing their thing, you've got your insurance, there really is a, a bit of a silent period in between. Now, you should still have strong communication with your service professionals, your realtor, your lawyer, and you know, maybe there are some things that you were working out in the home inspection, that kind of stuff, you know, so you can still keep that line of communication open as well. But essentially, the period in between does get a bit quiet, but it's a great time for you to take some time to get excited, be interested, plan about you know, uh, moving into your home, but just watch out for a couple of those little pitfalls. Uh, and of course, on the day of closing, which we're gonna get into next, there's a couple of things that you should know ahead of time to make sure that that day goes well for you. I hope this is something that's helpful to you and give you more to discuss. If you haven't yet, please hit subscribe. All of my contact information is below. Hope you've been enjoying the series and I'll see you in the next segment.